You know, the most valuable thing we have on this earth is time and wasting time trying to find fish when you're in an unproductive area or dead water is something that we can kind of avoid. So in today's video, we're going to be covering how I approach a new body of water or approach a new section of the lake to find wintertime crappie. What's going on guys? Steven Turner here with Turner Fish and welcome or welcome back to the channel. So wintertime crappy can be, you know, one of the most, you know, sought after thing. The, the meat starts to get firm. Uh, these fish are eating and eating good. Uh, not only has my dad been limited out almost every day, throwing back hundreds and hundreds of fish, but I mean, they're just eating good. They're getting fat. You're going to be able to go out there and find your two to three pound class fish. A lot more relevant, but there is a lot of dead water and the best part about all this you could figure out some of the best areas on your body of water while you're sitting in the comfort of your home you know whether you're in the car line getting your kids whether you're sitting on the couch watching youtube watching turner fishing uh whether you're just riding down the lake you're able to pull out your phone and find the best areas on your lake so in today's video, I actually partnered up with Omna Fishing. It's a brand new app. And when I tell you guys, this app is amazing for fishermen. You're able to see so much stuff in the palm of your hand that, you know, you used to have to break out a big old paper map and try to memorize all this stuff. And then we got, you know, GPS on, on our boats. But this is in the palm of your hands. You're able to mark stuff. You're able to find stuff. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm using it to locate these wintertime crappy. So here we are, guys. We've got the app pulled up. Now, the cool thing about this app, no matter where you're at in the country, you're able to see these little, uh, little big exclamation points. And what's going to happen is when you click on one of these, it's going to pull up, you know, the where it's located this is in south carolina oconee and at the bottom it's going to give you a seven day forecast for around this body of water so like today it's going to be two mile an hour winds with a high of 54 low of 46 and tomorrow you're going to have four mile an hour wind etc and you're able to kind of adjust your fishing for the wind you're able to adjust your fishing for the temperatures and all that so we're going to back out of this right here and what we're going to do we're going to pull up uh lake hartwell and you know i've been to this body of water i went with my father-in-law about two three months ago and this is a very very deep reservoir but the same applies on any reservoir what we're about to show you so with the omna app you're able to go in here and the best thing the best thing about this app you're able to click down here on the bottom right and it's got so many layers. Let's go over the layers on this app real quick. We've got water clarity, water temperature, Navionics is coming soon. So whenever they import Navionics into this app, it's gonna be so freaking amazing. Uh, you've got the CMAP socials, which you know are pretty decent. The bottom hardness uh, during the spring and stuff, those are actually gonna come in handy. And if you fish in Florida and stuff, it's got a social vegetation. And basically, when you turn this on, I'll show you. It's going to have reports of green. And that's going to be your under the water or above the water vegetation that people have reported on sea maps. So that's really freaking cool. So we're going to turn that off. So for wintertime crappy, what I'd like to start off with, I've, I've covered this in a lot of videos. But I like to start off with a bridge. So right here is 85, the 85 bridge. Don't know nothing about it, but I know in this uh, particular creek or cove, whatever you want to call it, there's actually two bridges going in. And once you get in here, there's another bridge here, another little bridge here it looks like. So we're going to focus right here at the beginning of this creek because in the fall time they're going to kind of push back into these creeks or arms and stuff and a lot of the bigger fish are going to pull out for that deeper water 
to you know do their wintering thing whether you got muddy water they're gonna be up in the water column if you have clear water they're gonna be down lower in the water column so what we're gonna do here we're gonna click on our Omni app and we're gonna go to social CMAP social charts and this is gonna give us our depths our creek channels and all that so so this one you know goes to 24 I probably wouldn't fish in the middle there but this 85 bridge now on this map the contours are really really close together that's where you got a steady steady drop off so these contours over here on this 85 bridge let's go ahead and take off this C map chart just so we can see the bridge a little bit better yeah this is a double bridge so there's probably just stacks and stacks and stacks of pylons up under it and then we got some docks on the back so we can come back in here and we're going to go back to the social maps yeah these docks 20 20 feet deep got some 45 feet over here definitely the shallower sides on the right with the 15 to 5 to 20 I mean, Hartwell's a deep lake. You got to think about that. Like, there's there's places where 60 to 40 feet is just a normal thing. So now, how do we... What am I looking for on a new lake, a new body of water, a new section of the lake? And basically, I'm going to start this bridge. I'm going to see what these fish are doing. I'm going to see if they're up in the water column. I'm going to see if they're down in the water column. I'm going to see if they're holding on to structure. And what I mean by holding on to structure, do I catch them off the bridge itself? Or am I catching them out in the open? And I hope that makes sense. So if I'm catching them off the bridge itself, that means they're kind of tight to cover. They're going to be on something. So then I'm going to, let's see, we're going to take off this social maps right here. And we're going to come over here and we're going to start working these docks right here. And if you catch a few off these docks right here, and then if we zoom out, right here on the Omni app. I mean, we've got just just so many docks to go through. Jesus. There is a lot of docks on this lake. So finding that right dock is going to be key here. So we're going to turn on the maps again. And for a dock on a really deep lake, what I'm looking for is something different. And what I mean by different is, see, we've got this point here, but it's a really, really shallow point, and it goes to 20 feet of water. So we're going to check it out. We'll go ahead and take off the map chart here. And exactly, that's what I thought. So there's one, two, three, four, five docks right here. But when we turn the, the maps back on, these are shallower than everything else this is going to be warmer docks you know they're, they're still in deep water because there's docks coming off right here and that's 24 to 40 feet out here but this point right here is an area that these crappy can push bait fish up and are able to feed and that's their main objective this time of year is to get bigger get fatter get bulkier so they're going to push up right here so these right here would be definitely docks that are different than other ones see these two docks right here in the back right here where i'm clicking they're shallower i wouldn't focus on them but these four right here well actually there's five right here definitely 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 i can guarantee you there's some crappy on those docks right there now another thing you got to think about in winter is whether or not you're getting rain and the cool thing about the Omni app, you're able to just click. And one of their map layers is actually water clarity. So let's turn on water clarity. And you're able to see what's going on in this water. As you can see, once you get down this creek, it starts getting a little bit dirtier with the green. But all the blue is pretty much, you know, clear for the most part. The light blue is your deeper, clearer water. So one of the most key things with wintertime fishing is your water temperature if you're getting a lot of rain in the back of the creeks the warmer water is going to attract more bait fish and those bigger fish are going to be eating those bait fish and they're going to be following them 
you know, not all the way to the back of the creek, but they're going to be in those creeks because the water is a little bit warmer. And the cool thing about the Omni app, as you can see right here, we're able to just turn on water temperature and the layers. The layers on this app is just so clean. Like they've thought about pretty much everything a fisherman could ever need. So you just turn on water temperature right here and you're able to see the water temperatures. As you can see, you know, down here in South Carolina, it's starting to get wintered. So a lot of the creeks are actually colder than the main body of water. Now this is probably going to be surface temperatures. You know, as you get down deeper, obviously it's going to be either be colder or warmer, depending on your body of water. So, so another layer that we can actually utilize on this app. Now this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen on the app to be able to find fish. You take off the water temperature there and we're going to come down and we've actually got wind, precipitation, the air temperature, lightning and storm cells. So if we turn on the wind right here, we're able to come back to the map and we're like, we want to fish this 85 bridge. We're able to see that the wind is blowing us right into the left side of the 85 bridge. So if you're using a smaller boat, a smaller whatever to get out there and catch these wintertime slabs, you can actually just zoom out and we want to find something that blocks that wind that we're able to find fish. So let's go through here and right here, we're going to have this little point right here coming out this island. We're going to zoom in here. So the wind is going to be blocked right here. So we can come right here. We can take off the wind. And we go right back to social map charts. And right here, we've got really, really deep water and a little bit of shallow water with a lot of good contour lines. We've got a little island right here. Uh, right here in this saddle is what they call a saddle where it comes, it kind of dips down and stuff. A lot of people put brush piles in. Now, this was just a random place on the map that I just found. I mean, I'm, I didn't look at for none of this before this video. Trust me, I didn't. I'm making jigs. So we're going to turn off the maps right here and we check it out, see if there's any docks. There's no docks and it's kind of like a hidden feature because it's kind of like a featureless bank. Now we do have docks over here, but they're going to be directly in the wind. This little island right here with this hump is going to block the wind. You're able to get out there in a smaller boat and not get blown around if the wind's blowing really bad, which I don't think it was. Let's check it one more time. So we go back to wind and this actually gives you a 24 hour forecast. So if you hit the play button right here, it'll show you how hard the wind's going, if the wind's going to change directions and everything. This app is freaking crazy. So and you actually can click on it and it'll tell you, you know, Northeast 13.3 mile an hour, which not too bad. And you can go through and just click around figure out and plan your day accordingly. Like I said at the beginning of the video, time is the most valuable thing in fishing and being able to find fish in the palm of your hands is just simply a no brainer guys. Winter time crapper, you're looking for shallow places with access to deep water. So in the morning they can pull up to the warmer water and feed and then drift off to their brush piles, their docks, their bridges, whatever they're going to be feeding heavily and you know in that morning time that first light you know they could be on the rip wrap whatever whatever's holding heat you know a dock pylon the brush pile is going to be warmer than the water uh the bridge pylons are going to warm up and stay a little bit warmer overnight but those are key areas i look for on any given body of water that i'm going to fish and I'm sure if you check those areas out on your lake, you're going to be able to catch more fish. But thank you to Omna Fishing for sponsoring today's video. The app is just simply amazing. So go to the App Store, Google Play, uh, Apple, the Apple Store, and you're able to just download that app. The pro features with the layers are definitely worth it in my opinion. So go check that out. I have a link down in the description below. Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. I'll catch you all on the next one.